previously agreed upon, the PJH residents would take the side of total mastectomy, while the Sambuanga residents would take the side of subtotal mastectomy. Are there any questions and clarifications as to the situation or an issue for debate from the Sambuanga side? And no question at the moment. From PJ side? Answer. If none, let's proceed to the presentation of the opposing proponents. First to present is the proponent for total mastectomy in the person of Dr. Carol Ann Paz Marcilia, representing the PJH team. Dr. Paz Marcilia, remember you're given only 10 minutes. Good afternoon. Breast cancer remains to be one of the most common malignancies of women. In the Philippines, it has an annual incidence rate of 40 per 100,000 women. A large number of breast cancer in the country are detected in the advanced stages, so that modified radical mastectomy has become the mainstay of surgical treatment for operable breast CA in the Philippines. With the current thrust of early detection of breast cancer through breast health examination, patients are presenting with breast CA at an earlier stage. The case for debate exemplifies such an early stage. It involves a 40-year-old female with a 2CM tumor in the upper outer quadrant of her right breast. If we will stage this patient, it will be a stage 1 lesion, T1, MO, MO. Recent developments in the management of early breast cancer have made several therapeutic options available for this patient. These include, as mentioned, MRM versus breast, breast preservation surgery, such as a wide excision uh, mentioned by Dr. Hawthorne. I will, be, I will be discussing the advantage of using MRM over a breast conserving procedure. MRM continues to play an important role in the local regional management of breast CA in the Philippines. In our country, MRM accounts for the majority of local regional breast therapeutic procedures. In a review of current management of breast CA in the Philippines by like Cabaluna, MRM comprises 92 to 97 percent of breast operations done here. Survival of patients with early breast, early stage breast CA undergoing MRM show good results. Studies abroad have cited as high as 83% tenure survival rate for stage 1 lesions. In our, in our, in our country, Laudico has cited a 68% tenure survival rate and Niquete has cited an 82% tenure survival rate. MRM ensures complete removal of the tumor since the entire breast is removed, including the axillary nodes. The view of literature shows practically zero local a local regional recurrence rate for patients undergoing MRM for early stage breast CA. Overall, the only advantage offered by breast conserving surgery would be a better cosmetic result. However, it offers no other advantage over MRM. Several studies have been done, all of which just show that breast conserving surgery has similar survival rates to MRM. It offers no um, advantage regarding survival. The key features in the selection of surgery for breast CA are first and foremost the patient's desire to retain the breast, second, the extent and nature of the disease in the woman's breast, and third, the radiotherapy facilities available, available if the woman desires breast preservation. If the woman does not desire to retain her breast or if she has advanced CA or if there are no radiotherapy facilities available, then MRM is the procedure of choice. The most significant risk for breast conserving surgery, the most, the most significant, hello? Alex, can you still hear us? Hello? Alex, can you still hear us? Yeah, go ahead, Ray. You are just an interruption, the extension of the telephone. You can go ahead now. The most significant risk for breast conserving surgery is that of local recurrence. Recent reports have been coming out regarding local regional failure after breast conservation therapy, with factors associated with recurrence not yet well defined. Studies show that local recurrence rates five years after breast conserving surgery range from 2 to 21% in patients treated with post-op radiotherapy and may be as high as 33% in those not receiving radiotherapy. Local regional recurrence is a poor prognostic event and approximately one half of these patients eventually die of breast CA. Several studies, namely by Kurt and Beck, 
have shown that the disease-free survival at five years after recurrence is in the range of 50 to 60 percent. Treatment factors that would increase the risk of recurrence in the breast include surgical maneuvers with a significant risk of residual disease, namely lumpectomy, after resection, or failure to treat the breast with radiation. As was previously mentioned, the availability of radiotherapy facilities should be a consideration when selecting the management of an early stage breast CA. It has been shown that the, by the MSABP test trial, that for all the more sciences combined, that the that those who had radiotherapy had a 12% recurrence, and those who had no radiotherapy had a 43% recurrence. The Milan trial showed an even lower risk in breast recurrence of 0.3 versus 8.8 .8 between irradiated and non-irradiated breast. In breast recurrences, uh, following radiotherapy, these are generally categorized as a in-between recurrence or marginal, marginal disease if the tumor recurrence is in the same one as in the initial tumor. Tumor elsewhere in the breast are categorized as second primaries. Either of these um, categories would not be a problem if it was technically been done in the first place. Um, it is important to recognize also the limitation of histologic evaluation in margins in breast conserving surgery. Razor reported a series of patients who had a mastectomy or excision after a pre segmental resection, and he showed that 26.3 of patients who had clear margins on the first excision were found to have residual disease on the excision. Um, Holland showed a percentage of 43% and McLean 38%. Current methods of assessment of resection margins may underestimate the margins of positivity and therefore increase the residual, uh, the incidence of residual tumor. Also, in reviewing the risk factors and management of local recurrence following breast conservation uh, surgery, noted that the actual significance or meaning of local recurrence is unclear. The implications of a local recurrence may depend on the reason for its existence. And until the meaning of local recurrence is clarified, it is probably wise to take appropriate measures to, to minimize the risk of local recurrence. Clearly, breast cancer is not one disease. Among breast cancers with phenotypically similar expressions, there can be a vast spectrum of both aggressive and relatively indolent behaviors. As such, it is naive to think that all patients with breast cancer would benefit from similar local, regional, or systemic approaches. Until such time that the behavior of individual breast cancers can be predicted more precisely, mastectomy needs to be considered as a standard against which other forms of local regional breast cancer therapy should be compared. Thank you, Dr. Pastor Celia. Can you still